Well, I'm very pleased to introduce Josie B to the show today. The first question I've got to ask you, Josie, number one, are you single? Yes, I am single. And number two, have you got a fetish for a middle-aged, slightly podgy guy? Uh, I no guess not. No there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was worth a try anyway. Josie, joking aside, uh, welcome to the show. The first thing I've got to say to you is that how much we enjoy your music here at Fame Games. And uh, if you don't thank mind me saying, what a beautiful young lady you are. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys, you know, your support that you guys have given me. I mean, I'm really, really honoured to have to feel, you know, that you guys like my music. And, and I'm blushing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm like, I'm really... I love it. You know, you guys have really done a lot for me. Well, Josie, we're always quite amazed at the amount of support that you actually get uh, on Fame Games via the website. And sometimes we wonder, I don't know how much you sort of generate that yourself through friends and relatives and associates, or or is it in fact people that just love your music? Who knows? You know, I mean, I know I have like, of course I have family and friends that, you know, support me as well. So, you know, I always tell them, vote for me, vote for me, you know. But as far as everybody else, you know, it's who it is, you know. It is who it is, and I really appreciate that they are fans of my music. A, a lot of comments, Josie, which uh, I think are very true, is that you've got a, a very unique way of putting together R and B and also hip hop together in, in, a, in a great way. And there's been many comments about that. Do you agree with that? Is it is your music a mixture of R and B and hip hop? Yeah, I would say it's a, it's a mixture of R and B and hip hop. And you know, I just think it the way I feel it. Um, basically, you know, if it gets perceived as R and B and hip hop, then do it. You know, often it is, but. Yeah, I mean, I just see what I feel, and that's how I just do it. Now, <laughs> you were born in uh, Puerto Rico uh, originally, and you moved yes. to the States at the age of two, I believe. Mm-hmm. Now, do you consider yourself as, as a Puerto Rican girl, or, or are you now a, a fully-fledged American? I would consider myself um, more Puerto Rican because I never really lost in my culture just because I lived here, like, all my life. Because my parents made sure that we always ate the authentic food from there. I speak Spanish fluently. So basically, and I still go over there and I visit my whole family because I don't have anybody here but my immediate family. So everybody that, from relatives to grandparents, they all live in Puerto Rico. So if I ever want to go see them, I have to go over there nine hours. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about your family, though, it says that they noticed, you know, a very young age uh, that you had a great singing ability. When when did you first sort of start singing? Was it was it indeed very young? Yeah, I was about five, and um, I had done voice, and I was in fifth grade, a little show at school, and the teacher told my parents that, you know, she was really impressed with my vocal ability, and from there on, they're always training me how to put shows on for, you know, friends and family who would come over and ever since then i just been doing it and that's when I realized like hey I really have something and I just you know worked on that and grew you know as an artist now, uh, a lot of people, when they listen to your music, sometimes, um, you know, and, and I've got to put this side of it too, they say, well, sometimes it's a little bit too commercial sounding, uh, when in fact, you know, deep down you can hear that you've got a real soulful voice. And um, how do you sort of respond to those kind of comments? Totally flattered. I mean, like I said, I am trying to be the best that I can be. As far as, like, my vocal ability, I want to, you know, kick it to the top, and I'm willing to try different styles, and I just sing with what I feel, and it's, it's, I just feel like my my range is pretty wide, you know. I try it and then I practice on it, I do it and it seems to work for me, you know. You've done a lot of work with, with Ribcat as well. Quite often you send submissions, Ribcat and Josie B. Tell us how that association came about. Well, when I was recording my own solo material um, through a mutual friend, um, he had heard one of my songs and he wanted to do a collaboration. So that's how we, you know, became to join. And once we got together, we had such a good chemistry and magic that we decided, hey, you know, we should really try to try something different with his, you know, Hip hop style and like my R and B and pop vocals, we just thought, hey, it would be really fun to just be like a like a little duo, you know. So that's where that all came about. Well, I've got to say that the two of you together are absolutely excellent. It seems like a marriage made in heaven, really. Is there any any sort of uh, anything extra there? I mean, is there a relationship going on there as well? Um, as far as me and Ripcat, we actually um, just finished wrapping up our um, album. Yeah. And we're putting out a single. It's called um, Reveries out in June 1st so you guys will be the first to have it Fame Games will be the first to have it and um, we're really excited we're really excited to see how you know our album's going to really like put an impact on everybody you know um, How much has Ribcat actually influenced uh, you initially before you actually met up because I don't know I get the feeling and please correct me if I'm wrong but you're more sort of R&B and Ribcat perhaps influenced you a little bit more on the hip hop side Yeah he definitely did he, he definitely has a different style of his own and that definitely influenced me and also gave me a different 
you know, side, uh, besides just singing like pop and R&B and, you know, because I actually do like hip hop and I like rock. I like a lot of different styles. So as far as him introducing me to the hip hop world, I would say he definitely has influence on that. And I'm excited to do that. It's fun. <laughs> and, what, and what about other influences, Josie B? People that you've sort of, uh, you know, you've drawn upon and, and makes you who you are today? Definitely my family, you know, my mother, my father. I've always had like 100% support from my family and friends. And, you know, they basically, that's influenced me to be the person that I am and basically go with my goals and do what I believe in. You know, nothing is possible if you definitely just try, you know? And it's so important to have that, isn't it? The backing of your family and so on. It's very important, very important, you know? If it wasn't for them, like, I don't even know what I'd be doing right now. I don't think I'd be maybe not doing music, you know? Some people are like, some parents are like, oh, that's not realistic, you know? But my family's like, just do your dreams, follow your dreams, and, you know, we'll get back to you 100%. Always will. Now, apart from your family, what about musically? Influences musically? People that you sort of look up to and you think, you know, there, there's where I want to go. That's what I want to sound like. Yeah, I mean, as far as, like... Sound wise, I just want to be like the best that I can be. But I love Madonna because she's always changing all the time. I love Beyonce because she's like, you know, she brings a diva out of it. I mean, there's so many different artists that I, you know, look up to just for, because they actually have their own style and they and they're not afraid to show it. I mean, I like 80s. I love all kinds of music. There's too many to even like say, but I've been influenced one way or another from lots of different music. Josie, one thing that I've got to ask you is that just before we started talking to you today, you've actually got a day job as well. What, what is it you do? Yeah, well, I actually work with my father. Um, he does um, mortgage loans, he's a broker. So I help him out, you know, that's a tough business right now, but I like to help my dad and my family out as much as I can. So if I work for him, why work for anybody else, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. But ideally, I, I, I should imagine, Josie, that your heart is, is most definitely in the music industry and that's what you're like to do full time I should imagine oh yeah for sure that's that's probably half the reason why I work with my father because at least I have the flexibility if I have to go you know do a show if I have to rehearse if I, if I have to record you know he's like go ahead it's like I don't have to worry about having a job where I have to ask permission to leave and you know I always end up losing him because of that reason <laughs> <laughs> now on that subject I mean how much time do you actually spend rehearsing and performing I, I should imagine that takes up a lot of your time yeah it does take up a lot of my time especially this you know last couple like months since we were recording the album, we were like nonstop in the studio for like almost like eight hours a day, you know. And practicing rehearsals, we're like in there for like eight hours as well. So we're, I'm pretty beat up by the time the end of the week comes. <laughs> <laughs> and you also perform live, Josie. What do you prefer? Do you, do you prefer sort of studio work or, or, or live? Um, I prefer live because I think live instruments, you just feel it more, you know, the energy. I mean, I have performed with tracks before and dancers and all that, and it's, it's good just as well. Don't get me wrong but for some reason I just like to feel that you know beat of the drum like and my pounding you know on my on my chest like something about that feeling is you can't it's not the same you know let's talk about some some of your tracks here which I particularly love how do you sleep at night I think is a great track is, is that from personal experience where you sort of hardly done by by a guy somewhere along the line yeah yeah you know all guys are always dogs <laughs> not all of them but you know I guess maybe the ones that I've experienced so um, yeah I would, that's definitely personal experience and just kind of letting him know like and and, and like <laughs> And like most artists, I mean, I, I would presume that your songs you draw upon experiences on your in, on, in your life. Yeah, most definitely. Everything that I think about is you know happened to me, or even just like an experience you know that I've gone through. So definitely, Josie, do you actually write all your own stuff, or have you got sort of uh, songwriters and producers with you? Um, all three. <laughs> I write some, and then I have, and then I have you know co-writers, and then I have yeah, I have everything because I'm I'm open to so many different things, you know. Somebody might write something that I might not even think about writing about, you know? First of all, I'm going to tell you which is my favourite track from you, and then I'm going to ask you what your favourite track is, and I wonder if it's the same one. I enjoy your music all round, but for me, one track that I think is absolutely superb and really should be a hit is Think It Over. I just love that track. <laughs> I know, I love that track too. That's funny you say that. <laughs> so we do at the same taste, you see? Um... <laughs>